What up, YouTube? TTC, Dirty Bird Nation, what's good? AR10 in the building, Sergeant AR up on a Sunday morning. It is game day. The Dirty Birds, we take on the Baltimore Ravens. And it's going to be crazy, man. It's a home game. Uh, going over the X's and O's for this game. Deion Jones is back. Debo is back, man. After, what, nine, ten games out, he is back. And it's about to be crazy. Hopefully the defense shuts the run down. Uh, hopefully we got a package in for Lamar Jackson to shut him down, to do a must rush to keep him in the pocket. Um, this guy's had over 100 yards rushing as a quarterback in a game before. It kind of reminds us of somebody else named Mike Vick. <laughs> If he can get back there and, and run around and make plays, we're going to be in trouble. So we got to have a contingency plan to shut him down, um, to make him do things he doesn't want to do, to keep him in the pocket, uh, to keep him from escaping the pocket and making plays and running all over the field, you know, especially the second and third and long situations. That's very frustrating for a defense. If you got him second and 10, third and 11, <clears throat> He scrambles for a first down. Trust me, I, I've seen this over and over and over by by number seven, the, the legendary Michael Vick. You know what I'm saying? So uh, hopefully we keep him in the pocket now. Their receivers, uh, pretty much Crabtree. And um, I don't know who their other receivers are, but Crabtree is who we got to focus on. Their tight end, I don't know if he's healthy or not. Um, but, you know, he's another target we got to focus on. Uh, defensively, we got to block Suggs, of course. Uh, savvy pass rusher. Um, always, always around the ball. Uh, one of their main leaders on defense. I think their starting safety is out. Uh, I know we can expose their corners, and I know we can run the ball against them. I mean, Baltimore has always had a, a pretty tough defense, but I've seen, I've seen teams run on them, so, um, you know, we can get the running game going. So hopefully we do that. Um, and then that'll open up the pass. Um, but having Debo back, man, having that man back, it's, it's going to change. It's going to change the defense. He's a leader. He's a pro bowler. Um, you know, I just want him, even if he has a limited number of snaps, I want him to make an effect on the game, a uh, positive effect on the game, bring this team together, hopefully fix all the mistakes that we've made <laughs> in the past 11 games. <laughs> Uh, as far as stopping the run and um, containing the quarterback, man. Um, uh, Matty Bryant is also back, too. Old man Matt uh, out of Brookwood High School, he's back. So, um, you know, if we need some long field goals, we could throw him in. He can kick a long field goal and then go back to IR. <laughs> some people just won't let go, man. The man, I think, is about, what, 38, 39 years old, man. Still holding on. <clears throat> you know, still kicking on 50 yarders so nothing wrong with that i'm not gonna complain about that but um yeah so it's game day morning um <clears throat> hope the falcons are uh, you know focused ready to play um got their stuff together man and um we can get a win we've lost three in a row so we started off one and one then we lost three in a row then we won three we won three in a row then we lost three in a row so hopefully we win another three in a row you know what I'm saying? To even up at 7-7. Seven and seven. Um, Playoff picture doesn't look too bright right now. Uh, maybe by the skin of our teeth we get a wild card if we went out. Uh, if we lose today and go to 4-8, and eight, then it's pretty much a wrap. The best we're looking at is 8-8. Eight and eight. So um, some people are going to lose their jobs, hopefully. Hopefully uh, McKay and Dimitrov get tired of the mediocrity. And uh, bring out the accent and cut some of these people's jobs. Um, you know, hopefully some players get up out of here. Uh, some contracts are going to expire. Uh, some people, you know, their fifth year option is going to get nixed. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, some people are going to get moved, cut, waived. But we go to four and eight, man, with the talent we got on this team, man. Just, just accent, man, for real. Just. Just cut it, man. Bring in some um, second and third string guys and, um, you know, see if they can play. See if we can build something for the future. 
But uh, this fan base doesn't deserve a four and eight team, man. We don't even d deserve a four and seven, a four and six, a four and five, or a four and four team. We really don't. Um, we have stuck with this franchise through all the BS. We continue to support this franchise through all the BS, and this is what y'all give us as players and coaches, front office. This is what y'all give us. After all we've been through, after all the trolling we've endured for the past, what, five, ten years, this is what y'all give us. You know what I mean? We deserve better. We deserve more uh, as, a, as a fan base. And I, I don't know. I don't know what kind of uh, re results we're going to get as far as the end of the season. I, I don't know what we're going to get. But anyway, Sergeant AR with that quick preview for the Ravens game. Um, I will not be attending, but I will be watching, of course, uh, supporting that black and red. Uh, shout out to everybody in the brotherhood. Shout out to all the Falcon vid makers and the um, Ravens red zone and all the Ravens vid makers. Um, shout out to y'all. Hopefully, uh, you know, it's a hard fought game. I know Jackson's going to make plays, but uh, we got to hit and, and, and tackle and wrap this guy up. We got to bracket the receivers. Alfred and True Font, y'all got to go, bro. Uh, I got. I mean, I gotta be honest, man. Y'all gotta go. <laughs> we can bring in some rookies. We can bring in some free agents. Hell, man, I might try out for the team, man. Y'all gotta go, man. You know what I'm saying? I might get me a trainer, man. Drop about 30 pounds and 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 go out there, man, and try out for the team, man. Y'all got to go, bro. Alfred True Fun, man. Y'all have been terrible this year. Terrible. So, um, I I don't know what we're gonna get out the team, but anyway. Sergeant AR, check it in with y'all. Y'all take it easy. Have a good one. I'll get up with y'all at halftime. Peace.